Hey everybody, welcome back to Chicago Reacts. My name is Michael, I'm an actor here in the city of Chicago and I am joined by the ever brilliant, the always talented, mm. looking good as always. Mm. I just wanna put my finger in your pocket. In pocket. Gotta be honest, I saw mm. that and I was just like, that's what I'm gonna do. That's why I had it on the left side, mm -hmm. so Michael had easy pocket access. I'm Zach, I'm also an actor here in the city of Chicago. Our intros are honestly some of the most fun stuff to film. Um, today we are reacting to some Let's Game It Out, and this was a suggestion by yes. Woods. Thank wow, you, Woods. We appreciate it. It's yeah, been a little while for us. It's uh, kind of an interesting uh, YouTube username. I wonder how many other Woods are out there. Woods. <laughs> I love um, it, though. Thank you, Woods. Yes. Uh, People order a pizza, and inevitably, I deliver torment. Um, cooking simulator. Pizza by Let's Game It Out. Which we've seen the little uh, cooking simulator from Let's Game It Out. So, yeah, and, and we found them very, very funny. Very funny. Very <laughs> funny. Um, and if anybody can deliver some torment, it's uh, it's Let's Game It Out <laughs> while playing cooking simulator. So I'm excited. If you're liking the video, feel free to like the video. And if you love us, feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any other suggestions for us. We are slowly but surely getting to the the massive Excel spreadsheet list of, of suggestions that have been made across all the videos. So we are seeing them, so keep it up. Yeah, and feel free to check out the links in the description so you can check out what Zach and I are up to. Mm -hmm. I'm still performing with the Drunk Shakespeare Society. You can check out my dates on my website. Yes. And Zach is? I'm on a national tour for a Broadway production called Justice on Trial. If you're interested in coming to see me perform, we're doing it in several different states. Feel free to just reach out to me on my Instagram or social media. That's probably the easiest way to tell you a little bit about it and maybe help you get some tickets if you're interested. And um, with that... Let's jack into the Matrix. Let's do it. I'm also Let's game it out. Also this hey there, it's Josh. Game. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing some cooking simulator today. They were kind enough to give me a key for their latest pizza update. And if yes. there's one thing I love, it's cooking <laughs> food in a very sane and normal way. Here we are in our brand new pizzeria. Oh, As you can see, we fun. have a lovely view of the oh, outdoors. Yes. And by that, I mean everything's in throwing range. Anyway, <laughs> let's take a look around. This is our pizza making station. All of our ingredients are going to go there, but we haven't prepped anything yet. That's and of course, of pizza's bacon here. Meanwhile, we have this other room where we prep ingredients, which is why we have so many wild pieces of machinery like an automatic cutter, an electric grater, a food processor, and my personal favorite, the dough mixer. Oh, but we're not done there. Yes. We have a dungeon. Or I guess oh, normal people call it a cellar. Game. We got all the normal stuff you put on pizza like bananas <laughs> and eggplant and sweet corn. Not to mention all these weird ingredients. I, no. Is sweet corn on a pizza? I can actually, I can honestly get behind that. I, I think that Pizza, there's enough different doughs, there's enough different sauces, there's enough different types of cheese. I feel like most ingredients you could justify on a specific, at least one specific type of pizza. And sweet corn is one of those things I think I could, I wouldn't be like super grossed out to try corn on a pizza. I don't think. Yeah. I can see what you're saying. Weirdest pizza. Uh, comment below be my the weirdest. Slut, but, <laughs> you know. Comment below the weirdest weirdest fine. ingredient that uh, you could maybe be interested in trying on a pizza. Mm -hmm. I mean, people put anchovies on their pizza, dude. Like, yeah. I like artichoke hearts, but that's not weird. It's not. <laughs> it's not. No one ever uses like onions and garlic and eight bajillion kinds of delicious meats. And of course, we can't forget cheese. You got your parmesan, like your pecorino, like whatever the hell sausages. this is. Oh, and I almost forgot about this cooler here where we definitely don't keep bodies. <laughs> bodies. Oh, we don't keep bodies. Well, color me surprised. All the greats are here. Shrimp, squid, fried egg. Well, now that I'm sure we all have a hankering for pizza, let's go ahead and take our first order and make some dreams come true.
Buffalina. Neapolitan style dough, marinara sauce, buffalo mozzarella. Seems easy enough. First things first buffalo is we gotta make mozzarella. the dough. Thankfully, the game is kind enough to show us exactly how to make the dough. We begin with the finest milled double zero flour, or as I like to call it, double O flour. License double. to mill. Okay, now it's time to add some water. <laughs> no, I mean, the sink is here, yeah, and I can definitely turn this on and waste water at a catastrophic rate. I think I saw something in here we can use for water. Ah, yes, this festive jug. Wait, can I really put water in this? Oh. In the past tense, I mean. Okay, you know what? Let's go to our magical box here, which allows us to buy all kinds of fancy things. And I'm just nice. going to substitute water with olive oil. Gives oh. it a nice gold color. Oh now it's time to add some thing. salt. Where do I keep that? Oh, do I keep it down no. here? Well, anchovies are kind of salty, right? <laughs> I'm sure this will do just fine. Oh my god, it pours so aggressively, too. Okay, it's wow. time. What a beautiful golden yellow color. Oh, oh, and this is how you know it's done. Is... Ah, it's a blob. Good enough for me. Let's make some pizza out of it. First, I we need to use like this rolling pin shaped. and... Uh -huh. Huh? You mean I can't just use mystery dough? All right, hold on. We gotta test this. Stupid Neapolitan dough needing correct ratios and water and stuff. Oh, so that's what dough is supposed to look like as it oh. lands all over the <laughs> dirty floor. Oh that's my god, nice it's like a real sound. pizza. Yeah, the next step is we need to make marinara like sauce. The... I'm not even gonna yeah, look at the ingredients. The I got this. Tomatoes, tons of garlic. Bring it to the food processor and watch it get siphoned in magically. Oh, that can't forget a, a couple of... herbs. <laughs> Okay, yep, there we go. Yep, everybody in. Don't be shy. Those are the noises I like to hear when it's grinding up my sauce. Mmm. Just like oh. marinara is supposed to look. One last thing to prep and we're good to go. Which includes making little trays of cut buffalo mozzarella and cut cherry tomatoes. Basket. Dungeon. Buffalo a conservative number of cherry tomatoes. Buffalo and buffalo infused. mozzarella. Nothing but oh, net. Okay. Like Things go in here and they get mulched. Ta-da! Sumptuous toppings. Let's nice. make this pizza. Oh boy, here we go. Let's put it right down. Oh, oh, I see. Nice. You know, maybe I can just. Oh, does that look <laughs> oh, like no. weirdly realistic? It's so tasty. Oh my God. All right, so if we good. do this, it looks a little more pizza-like. But no one wants that, so instead we're gonna have this sad face. <laughs> it's time to add our <laughs> buffalo mozzarella. Now, when it comes to cheese, you want to do it a little bit sparingly. You don't want to make it too rich, but you also want to make sure people get what they paid for, because no one wants to feel taken advantage of at a restaurant. There, see, that's what I meant. Seven now. kilograms so, of ten yeah, that kilograms. Looks right. Okay, let's get this in the <laughs> oven. Oh, in you go. Oh, and while man. we wait for that thing to bake, we have a sponsor for this video. So let's open up our <laughs> phone and check out who it is. Well, how about that? It's Forsaken World Gods and Demons. This is a casual RPG for Android and iOS with an emphasis on autoplay, which pretty much means you can play the game one of two ways. The good old-fashioned way of moving your character around, taking quests, and beating stuff up. Or you can tell the game to do all of that for you, and it'll do it with such laser precision, you'll think you were watching a speedrun. My favorite part is when these NPCs are trying to talk to you and you're already gone. The village behind me is Sorry, suckers. I don't have time for your lore. Oh, but one place you're not going to want to autoplay your way through is the character That's creator. Wild, With its customization, you can make something mm -hmm. beautiful, or yeah, huh. you can take all kind these sliders, move them all the way yeah. to the farthest extremes, and that's how you have a brow ridge that covers your eyes and a very pouty lower <laughs> lip. <laughs> if this doesn't scream oh, Forsaken gosh. World is calling you, I don't know what does. And if you scan it's this terrifying. code when you're making your character, scan. you can look just like him. And, and I guarantee you, awesome. every cutscene in this entire like game this. is made mm. better by this face. And don't forget to customize your outfit. Oh, and you're not the only looker in this game. Ever since they reached open beta, the game has seen improved visuals. Like, check this out. Even your starting mount has abs. And there's other, <laughs> shall we say, more exotic mounts that you can also unlock. And if that weren't enough, Fun. there's also pets who you can custom name. Mmm, mm, cat. cat. And bless their hearts, <laughs> they try to help even when I'm trying to abandon them. Which is gonna happen once I ditch them for a new pet. There's also daily events, challenges, mm. and limited time stuff, totaling 30 37 events to play with, as well as guild events that let you hop in, declare wars with others, and the game's official Facebook will also post about guild war events. The game also features new and improved voice acting, and the devs are adding genders to each class by the end of the year, and you can also customize cool, cool, your character's cool. skill tree cool, cool, cool. at will. So if you like what you see and you want to try it for yourself, the link you need is in the description. There's also a code you can use right here to redeem a whole bunch of free goodies, and you can also check out their Facebook page to learn more. Thanks again for the sponsorship, and might I heavily suggest 
just using yes. this dude's face. Anyway, that's where what were we, we took away. Oh, I know where we were. The pizza's just we about made. done. So let's pick I up the thingamabob. Content. Aggressively scrape it out of there. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Levitating tomatoes on a nice billowy blanket of molten cheese with a sumptuous homemade sauce underneath. Well, before we send it out, yes. we can't forget one vital ingredient, the basil leaf. Mm. So we'll just put one there and there and then a nice line across. Now, I realize it's going to be hard for the customer <laughs> to see this face, though, when they're busy being wowed by all this. Now it's time to plate. Yeah, to it's a big pizza, tomatoes. so we're going to use a big plate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cornerstone of cooking simulator. Needing to give ample clearance for the most fragile plates on the planet. Okay. Go ahead and put that. Uh, no. Everyone behave themselves. Okay. 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 Is... Okay. Yes. Piping hot and ready to eat. It only took 53 <laughs> minutes for it to come out. <laughs> Bye. I Have will fun. say that is maybe the most complete order we have actually seen. Seen. Let's give it out, dude. Yep. Finally. I mean, it's still crazy, but it is, it looks edible. I'd eat it. <laughs> and then regret it on the toilet for the next yeah. year and a half. <laughs> Going into outer space. Ah, let's see what they thought about it. You know, I see stars at all, so I feel like that's a huge accomplishment. <laughs> let's see, the dough, different size than ordered. Oh, I'm sorry, was the pizza too plentiful for you? Jeez. What? You didn't want my homemade green sauce? Aw, oh, see, here's someone of discerning taste. Jeez. All check marks for the cheese. Jeez, Overall, that went shockingly well, uh... which means we're gonna have to redouble our efforts. Make something truly terrible. Beef house? What the hell kind of pizza is that? Okay, here we go. Pizza. Sourdough pizza dough, Alfredo sauce, gorgonzola, ground beef, and red onion. Okay, listen, Whoa. when I think beef house, I don't think one kind Alfredo of meat. So let's tweak this order a little pizza. bit. Give the people not what they asked for, mm. but what we've decided they want. See, this feels so much more appropriate, doesn't it, for a meat mountain or whatever it's called? I mean, we got all the greats, like meat and some meat and then more beef meat. House. Wait, can I just put some of this stuff in here? Wait, what's it gonna pull in? Oh, just all the meats? <laughs> Oh boy. Mmm. Yes. Meat <laughs> sauce. Delicious Aww. meat paste. See, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> All meats, no vegetables, no spices. Also, this thing calls Just for ground. sourdough pizza dough. Ugh. Bread flour, sourdough starter. That's way different than my existing floor dough. You know what, actually? It looks like you can only make four different types of dough. Can I just make these in bulk like a real restaurant would? Only one way to find out, and that's to triple the recipe and see what happens. Let's see. <laughs> if it needs two liters normally, that's six liters we're going to give it. And yeah, Yes, it turns out this jug totally works. And now for yes. some salt and sourdough starter and olive oil. Here it comes. <laughs> Fresh packed, delicious floor bread. And hey, floor look bread. at that. It's actually sourdough. And boy, it just keeps on coming, doesn't it? Well, that was a rousing a success. Well, now end. that we're on a roll, huh, let's mix all the others. Okay, that's a little more like it. <laughs> Enough pizza dough for a lifetime. And then some. Yes. <laughs> what the hell was that? Are you just saying hi to me, dough monster? <laughs> so now that our dough situation is fixed, the last thing we need to do is grab some gorgonzola, as requested by the customer. <laughs> ah, the finest cheese. Okay, and we'll just put that next to our meat <laughs> sauce, and then just keep sifting through the pile until I find <laughs> some sourdough. Ah, there we go. Come with me. Nice. It's time to make a beef house. So of course we're gonna have to start with our exquisite sauce. Yes. Make sure to get it I nice actually, and spread evenly. I actually enjoy the sound that makes and watching him spread the sauce on. I find it quite fun. It looks almost gelatinous. It does look gelatinous. It's, it looks uh, like a strawberry jelly. It, yeah. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's give it a nice big mmm. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the meat toppings. I can just shove this thing in here, right? Sure can. Okay, that's one de <laughs> delish. Oh, Some of yummy. that. And one of these. Can't forget this. Okay, I think we got this under control now. Behold, Meatropolis, oh, yes. a meat for every season. Now let's construct <laughs> this pizza. Let's give it a really strong foundation. Gotta make sure you use a lot of different oh, building man. materials. Otherwise, how is it gonna grow up to be big and strong? Just on After one all, what part if there of are intruders? The like, ugh, vegetables. And let's make sure to give it a nice gorgonzola moat and a nice yes. prosciutto drawbridge. Oh, huh, you know, on further inspection, it's definitely more like a fortress with like a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I am glad that these walls are definitely holding in our meat menagerie. Oh, you yes. know what we're missing too? Almost forgot about shrimp. Technically a meat as far as I'm concerned. 
<laughs> oh, Ugh. that was ultra pleasant. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Just nakedly hanging out in the saws. And one in the middle. Just as a nice surprise. <laughs> oh, God. That's <laughs> Nummy, nummy, num. Oh, boy, I can't wait. Come here, meat explosion. Let's see what we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. That cheese mo really came together, didn't yes. it? And let's give it a little sprig of parsley, you know, for presentation. <laughs> right on the edge of the <laughs> Now, just a review. They wanted a pizza with Alfredo sauce, gorgonzola, some ground beef, and red onion. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what they're hoping for. So let's not keep them waiting. Orders up. Yeah, it's for the beef house that you ordered an hour and 56 minutes ago. And off it goes into outer space. Oh, and overall, they're still pretty charitable. Like, sure, I apparently gave them too big of a pizza or whatever. And they commented that the sauce wasn't exactly what they were expecting. What about ingredients? Were you okay with those? <laughs> oh, what? What? You didn't like any of those? Not even the shrimp? Well, I never. Okay, for this next one. Cheeses. Well, now you're speaking my language. If my language was disappointment, only three cheeses? I got a better idea. How about we get rid of all these room temperature meats and let's make you a real cheese pizza. Excuse me, cheeses pizza. That's right, into the food processor. <laughs> yeah, yes. just get it all in there. Delish. And I cheese can only imagine sauce. that it has the sludgy consistency of paint. Now, if you look at all these cheeses, they tell an interesting story. And by that, I mean the icons show that they can be both grated and sliced. So boy, oh boy, do we have a a lot of work ahead of us as I oh, drunkenly miss yeah, my own basket. Okay, sliced, now we just yes. need to turn this into this. We're talking 12 different kinds of sliced cheeses and an additional 10 that are grated. Now you might be wondering, <laughs> Josh, what makes this different than the meat one? You're just doing the same thing, but with cheese, an insanely aggressive amount of cheese. And while that's true, it is still pizza after all. Oh, cheese sauce with cheese. I do cheese. still have a couple innovations we're gonna try out on that's these pizzas. Do you think oh, I got it? God. I can't really tell. Now the first thing we're gonna want to do is use something nice and visible like this vibrant cheddar and we're gonna make a nice little concerned face oh, nice. and into the oven it goes now we're not done i need you to have faith here after we let it hang out in there for a little while we pull it back out ah good it looks like a mushroom cloud and now we just <laughs> give it a nice border of mozzarella followed by another eye a nose and a slightly unhappy looking mouth and scoop it up in it goes it's subtle but it's there not like it matters because we're gonna cover it in ricotta now i think you can see where this this is going right. Put it in, pull oh, it out, put yes. it back down. Generously add some oh, gorgonzola man. and rinse and repeat, alternating the type of cheese you use every time. God knows what this is supposed to be. Ah, uh, yes, that's how I like my shredded cheddar, like a haircut that went wrong. Or even better the is when the pizza toppings have that to Thanos look to them. I also feel like every time I put oh, the pizza back in the it oven, is. it's having a little bit more of a problem. It's all part of the plan, though. <laughs> and before you know it, once the frame rate allows it, the pizza is ready. Look at that, still smiling after all this time. It's so tall and thick with cheese at this point that when I'm I put sure. it down, the pizza peel gets stuck on it. I call this my three times three times three cooked pizza. And if you're wondering where the name comes from, it's because it's been in and out of the oven 27 times. <laughs> and totaling yes. up all the ingredients, this pizza has 27.5 kilograms of cheese on it, which is 60 glorious pounds. But before we send this beauty out, we're gonna give it one final flame kiss. Ah, it's perfect. Like a smiley balloon oh, in the middle wow. of being on fire. You know, maybe I'll give it a little That's bit more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it could get worse, but here we are. Come on, nightmare pie. This guy's Put it in again. Put it in again. Oh my god, what's happening to it as it flies away? <laughs> That's not pizza. That's not even from this planet. <laughs> Ah, see, that's more like it. Solid X's across yes. the board. Okay, look, I get it that they're unhappy pizza that the pizza was, was burned, and that the sauce was burned, and that the cheese was burned, and that the time was apparently burned. But why did I get marks down on the thyme leaf and dillweed for that? I didn't even put these on the pizza. Okay, fine. We're gonna do one more pizza, and I realize this person <laughs> thinks they're getting a fairly normal pizza with marinara sauce and mozzarella and all that stuff, but it's Josh's arts and crafts time now, so we're gonna make our own special pizza, and they're just gonna have to like it. The first First thing I need is some artistic inspiration. And by that I mean I'd love to see a little splash of color. Like maybe a little red wine vinegar. Yes, that's the stuff. Oh, I wonder if peanut butter is any good too. All the gross <laughs> colors of the rainbow. Well, give me a second. Time to make the place beautiful. Okay, this is looking a little bit better. A splash of color. I mean, it's a little less like I got artistic inspiration and more like I created a kill room out of saw. What I'm trying to say is while I walk through all this glass and trail blood down into the cellar, I am inspired. Okay, so we're gonna make a pizza with all the un 
unsung heroes of the pizza world. I'm talking sweet corn yeah, and chickpeas, sweet corn, yeah, black maybe. beans, not just canned capers, but caper berries. Ooh. And what's this over here trying to hide from me? Hazelnuts, my go-to ingredient for pizza. <laughs> just like Gordon Ramsay always says, the best pizza comes out of little cylindrical jars and cans slowly mm. pulsing in a picnic basket. <laughs> Come, serial killer kitchen. Let's <laughs> I feel like every episode of this game, I'm picking up crap off the ground, surrounded entirely by danger and chaos. Help me out, Jug. Help me clear some sp space. Nah, well, no, good enough. On you go. Joke. I'm so pumped. There's just so much delicious stuff here. Oh, this is not at all what I was expecting when I ground up all those caper berries. And I believe the rest of these cans, looking at you, sweet corn. No slicing required. <laughs> Ooh, we got some other things yummy. we haven't touched yet, like mussels, which we're going to prepare down here in like the mussels shadiest possible pizza. way. Like something the manager told us to do without anyone seeing us. Okay, look, I know that this is a game for all sorts of people, but who is putting boiled broccoli? on pizza. We are, that's who. Okay, now let's delicately Actually, knock this pizza. over and get everything that. into the... I mean, I put broccoli on pizza, but boiled broccoli? Boiled broccoli, yeah, that's pretty... It's gonna be soggy and gross. That's pretty gross, yeah. Basket. Come on. Come on. A plus. Totally worked. Mmm, <laughs> more floor ingredients. Oh yeah, this is definitely the ultimate pizza. Oh my god, it's so healthy looking. We're missing the sauce though, but I have an idea. And it starts with marsh and ends with mellow. In you go. Yes. Or I could partially miss. Either way works for me. Should I add something else? Is that kind of bland? You know, you're right. I should add Cajun seasoning. <laughs> yeah, that's the magic. You know what they Sweet say, don't let your dreams stay dreams. Ah, uh, yes. As the light hits it, it feels like it's pulled right out of a horror movie. Okay, time to begin. We start with our beautiful homemade sauce. Mm. Just to get your mind off the idea that this looks like a cross-section of someone's body, there's marshmallows in there. And that's when we do a dash of squid, and then go ahead and spell the word Y in mussels. <laughs> and maybe use the tuna, spell something so other people at the table can read it, and then just so it's not too obvious, a shower of beans and capers. Yes. Make sure to cluster all the broccoli together that it looks like it's one big head. <laughs> yep, that's what it looks like. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but from the side, it's actually sort of pretty. It looks like, it's like you're on a tree. beach in hell. Oh, let's make sure it's not <laughs> a little bit of parsley. Okay, we'll go ahead and just start stacking it. Uh-oh, I don't know if you can tell what's happening here, but the more I add, the closer it's getting to our face. Oh, wow, this parsley is really stackable, oh, wow. isn't it? Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Who <laughs> knew garnishes were so versatile? Wow, well, now that we gave it a parsley stackable. unicorn horn, which, what by the way, happening? is completely wrong rock solid. I think it's about time to serve. No time for baking. This needs to go out now. Besides, why would we want to ruin the natural- <gasps> Oh god, is it okay? I was just trying to throw the shovel thingy. Wait, hang on. That might have been for the better. I think I've learned something else you can do with this stacking method, which I think you can oh, make yes. kind of like a little oh. funnel thing. It turns into like a part- Got a tornado <laughs> again. Tornado again, yes. Parsley tornado. You know, why does everything end up looking like a nightmare? This isn't my fault. It's the parsley's fault. All two <laughs> kilograms of it. Ah, beautiful. Quite the, the centerpiece tree. for my monstrosity. Well, I think it's time to serve this masterpiece, just like I the last one. Beautifully the raw. Okay, let's no. put- <laughs> what just happened? Wait. Okay, the game is freezing entirely now. Nope. Nope, that's not ideal either. Okay, pizza, I need through. you to behave. Let's just get you situ- No, 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 no. Sorry, buddy, you're gonna have to wait another second for your pizza. Okay, we're just gonna take this plate, and we're just gonna rest it right Imagine here. Imagine being outside. And just like, it, you've been waiting an hour and 40 minutes for your very basic pizza. And then you just start hearing plates and stuff. It's like crashing behind in the and kitchen. And a giant pizza flying through the window. Yes. <laughs> and then your pizza comes out looking like that. Pick my collage Excellent. off the ground. Okay, just put it right there. Easy. It is, hey, this is it the is moment. This is the RPs. moment. Get it out. Okay, <laughs> good enough. Okay, look, that's not entirely my fault. I know you waited a long time for what turned out to be an empty plate, but I will not apologize for my art. Come on, crazy pizza. Let's go be somewhere where we're appreciated. And that's yes. what I'm gonna use a glitch I found, where if I open this drawer and open my phone at the same time, I am now in the drawer, and when I come back, I've climbed up on the countertop. It's time to get out of here. And of what? course, because we're not supposed to be out here, everything is a little odd, but I'm not gonna let that stop me and pizza from living our lives. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. Pizza and I are going to see what's over on this other island, and I'll see you next time. 
Oh, that's awesome. I love Let's Game It Out. I, I, I really do. Like, even that, that thumbnail at the end there reminded me of, um, of the, the one where he, he built a, a, a prison at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Yeah, just so fun. I, well, and I think and we've said this maybe a couple times with with his videos, but he always like pushes things so far. Which honestly, his first pizza was quite tame. So, quite tame. But it, but it set us up for his final work of art, which was <laughs> quite brilliant. If you do, in fact, do say so myself. But um, it really, it truly was. Yeah, um, but then like yeah, he, he clearly spent so much time in these games to find little glitches like that. Like I assume. You well, know, I mean, it's just even, like, oh, let me play, let me play, let me play. Like, right. how do, what is the sandbox and where do I find the cracks? Mm -hmm. And like, very good at that. Well, I mean, just even adding up the time per pizza, like the first one took what, 50 something minutes. The second one took 50 something minutes. The last one took two hours. So yeah, I mean, he spent minimum <laughs> like eight hours just making this video for us in terms of the actual gameplay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, what what a neat what a neat what a neat game and it's like the perfect game to have someone someone like him play. Yeah. Um, Always love some let's game it out. <laughs> Very fun. Thank you, Woods, for the suggestion. Yes. We really appreciate it. Um and if if there are any more let's game it out suggestions, make sure you are leaving them in the comments because uh yeah, Michael and I really, really enjoy them a lot. So um yeah. Yeah, and like the video as well. Again, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, feel free to check out our stuff. We, we do. We genuinely do have some exciting stuff going on, and we're excited to share it with you guys. And um, anything else, Mike? Yeah, I think that's about it. So yeah. uh, we'll see you next time on Chicago, Chicago Reacts. Reacts.